hey guys and welcome to my channel over the weekend dr pastor siju celebrated her birthday it was a beautiful one with the likes of tony Lumelu flavor and some top dignitaries in attendance and of course today i will be talking mostly about the church service and the beautiful words her husband had to say to her but first let's see the tribute to the late herbert wigwe who was a grand patron of the she church faithful, dedicated to the work of god and god chose to call her at home not only him, his wife and his son they left but then is our faith you know on the day i heard I screamed. I thought something happened in Nigeria. And I said, God! As we observe, one minute silence for the scale ones. So guys, Flavor, Tony Elumelu, we are all in attendance and a couple of other gospel artists performed in the church service, yeah, during the church ceremony. So here we have Chief Raza Kokoya and his beautiful wife for last Shade. Yes, that we are also in attendance. I mean, the one percent of the one percent of the Lagos social circle we are present. <laughs> So I am pretty sure that it's only the OGs that will recognize these amazing ladies. Sienna Orwell Brown, Ronke Ayuba and Ruth Benemesia Opia. They used to work, they used to be newscasters in NTA back in the days, early 90s, in fact, early 80s, late 90s, up until mid 2000s yes how many of you remember these ladies if you remember them say hello in the comment section and tell me the programs are presented that is how i am going to know if you truly remember who these amazing ladies are so we have chief Olashade with the former deputy governor of lagos state and here we have the former deputy governor saying hello to chief razak okoya chief razak okoya is the ceo of eleganza and beside him is pastor id the husband of the celebrant and we have them in a group photograph pastor id Chief Razak and Mrs. Folasha De Okoya. How many of you remember Folasha De? She got married, I think, in the early 2000s. She was 25, and the man was in his, I think, 50s or 60s. It was such a big deal then. And uh, here we have Kenny St. Brown and Ali Baba. Ali Baba was one of the anchors of the event. It's been a long time I saw Kenny St. Brown. Yes, she used to be a musician back in the day. So her brothers tried so hard to promote her, but Kole work. He didn't dare be say, he didn't dare so guys so here we have mrs folashade i'm sure she felt so awkward this camera would not leave her face she had to stay posing posing oh more being a celebrity is not easy my people ah it's a lot hey, hey you see she had to point at the camera <laughs> oh my god that's his brother with him chief okoya thomas yes and this chief razak he used to have an older wife who sometimes i wonder what's up with her uh alahaja i think kubrat or so i don't even know what's up with her so this falasha day she's such a stylish lady the video stopped by briefly but the event hadn't started so he left almost immediately so guys in church the celebrant's husband pastor ido who is the head pastor of redeemed church city of david parish called her out and he had my nothing but lovely church. words to say to her my he also sang it. specially for her guys my you should see this i promise you would my love it patuti. my azuka betito you know crafting a speech Expressing my love for you is impossible because I love you more than words can convey. It's impossible to pack all the experiences 
of 44 years that were spent together into a speech. If all the waters in the ocean were ink and all the trees in the forest were pen, it is not sufficient for me to express my love for you. Enamored by your beauty. A 16-year-old PYT. Pretty young thing. 44 years ago, you are still my pretty young thing. Is it our 10 years of courtship, the dreams and life we build together? Is it our 34 years of marriage and the lovely children that God has given us, Jola, Todu, and Toju, to whom you are the best, most caring, lovely mother, adorable. You brought discipline into our home, and indeed you turned our house into a home. An irreversible commitment to the cause of humanity under the Ages of Arise Foundation. You have seen to 1.6 million women and you have given them extraordinary lives through your skills, acquisition, and economic programs. You build schools in the most remote parts of this nation. You build hospitals in those uncharted villages and provided free health care. Sweetheart, all those babies that were born to the glory of God, none of them died. You sung bubbles. You have given hope and put melody to the life in those forgotten places. Most importantly, your passion. I would shed a tear just as long as you stand, stand by me. Darling, darling, stand by me and I'll stand by you. Just as long as you stand. By me. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. You are a woman of great hindsight, of deep insight, and awesome foresight, full of wisdom and a heart for the things of God. Loyal to a fault. After God, I am your first and last love in life. <laughs> you have stood by me through thick and thin and the dark moments of our lives. When the music stops, you still remind me and you tell me I'm still here. Sweetheart, your brand is rare. Your loyalty is legendary. Your positivity is contagious. Is it your charities? For me. And your devotion and commitment to the things of God. Today, I rededicate my life to God, to you, our children, our ministry and to humanity. Show you through the changing scenes of life, of our lives, you have exhibited one virtue, a godly virtue. You stood by me. You stood by me. And you are still standing by me. In spite of all that is going on around us today, we agreed to stop for a moment and thank God for his known and unknown mercies and grace over you and our family. 
For the many times God has delivered your soul from death and from all the horrors of life. And through it all, you are still standing, still serving God in your own unique way. I say to God be all the glory. Today, I pledge my love to you and promise to stand by you even if all else fails. And I think it's easier for me to express how I truly feel and honor you with this song. No. Because of the circumstances, I did not bring my saxophone. But I tell you that I still do justice to this song. As the choir starts. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see. No, I won't be afraid. Oh, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. So darling, darling, stand by me. And I'll stand by you. Oh, stand, 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 stand by me. If the sky that we look upon mm, should tumble and fall, all the mountains should crumble to the sea. I won't cry. No, I won't cry. No. That was really cute and I love that we got to hear the other side of this beautiful woman from her husband because a lot of times people see women this glamorous and they don't know how humane they are. They just conclude that they are psychedelic, they are probably just the love, the good things of life. But from all what was said, you can tell that she is such an amazing woman, a lovely wife and a mother, also a pastor. So guys, like I said earlier, if you want to see Flavor's performance and all that, I think you should go check the video on my channel. Oh, oh.